Hi, I know you're here because you want some GCSE maths advice, so I don't want to waste any of your time. I'm just going to give you a few last minute tips on what you should do before your GCSE exam, whether you have it tomorrow or on the day that you're watching this video. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, first tip is to get the entire list of topics for maths and just make sure you know how to do every single thing because the first thing you always have to make sure is you can actually do every type of question in the exam. So you need to be able to be familiar with all the different topics. And what I recommend is just ordering them in terms of which topics you find the strongest at and which topics you find the weakest at. This is especially important for maths where all you need to do is a bit of practice on those questions at the bottom and then you can push them upwards and then continue practicing the other ones at the bottom. But once you've decided that you are pretty strong with all the topics in the specification for your exam, then you should start going towards finding just general past papers. And hopefully by this time you should have already done a lot of past paper practice. But what I recommend you guys do now, especially if you feel that you're already pretty strong at maths, is to skim through all the past papers you still haven't completed, but rather than completing the whole thing in a full given time, to just skim through them and see if you could actually attempt the question because I think once you've understood the content in maths and you've understood how to do the questions the next part is just simply knowing what the question wants from you so what I used to do was I used to right before my exam flick through past papers and just make sure I could do every question and know what my reasoning would be for that question if I were to do it and if I could do that question I wouldn't waste my time actually doing it now a really efficient way of doing this is by bringing up past paper walkthroughs of people actually attempting the past paper on a YouTube video and you can before they attempt a question you can see if you could do that question yourself and then you watch them do it and if they did the same thing that you originally thought you would do then you can skip on with that question but as soon as you find a question that you can't do go back and do a bit more practice on it because right now you don't have time to go through every single topic one by one you need to make sure you see what topics you're actually weakest at there's no point in going over topics that you already know how to do now let's assume even that is pretty good for you and overall you can do all the past papers really well and there's not really much else for you to do at this point you're in a really good state so that's good but another thing I recommend you do is to check out GCSE Mass Tutor the YouTube channel and watch their really different difficult question videos so I'll leave a few of them over here but basically they just go over really difficult questions that have come up in past paper exams and just walk through how to do those. If you could do those type of questions for every topic then you're literally just set for the exam and after that if you can do all those questions then you don't have anything else to do. Now if you have also done past paper practice I also recommend just going over your past papers and seeing what kind of mistakes you made and honestly after you've done that you're set for your exam. On the day of my exam like right before my exam I just watched those GCSE maths tutor grade 9 questions and I just tried to attempt them and see if I could do them because if you could do that for a topic you don't need to worry about that topic anymore well most of the time sometimes you can do all the difficult questions you forget how to do the very basics which has happened to me in an exam before so always make sure that you briefly skim over that as well just so you don't forget and then once you go into your exam what I recommend you doing in the exam is to before you start the paper to flick through all the questions and just get a general idea of what kind of topics there are in the exam so you can always have that going in the back of your head and so when you get to that question you're a bit more familiar with it and also do not be afraid to skip questions especially if you don't understand how to do a question just skip it and then come back to it at the end and see if you can work out how to do it there's no point spending like 10 minutes on a three mark question understanding where to even start like it's gonna waste so much time so always make sure if you know how to do it to attempt it but if you don't know how to do the question just to skip it and then move on to it back later and the last thing I want to leave you guys with is I know this might sound a bit cheesy but to underline every keyword whenever you're doing a maths question or any sort of paper because this genuinely prevents silly mistakes and you're most likely not going to write it wrong after this video make sure you go straight to doing math practice i don't want to see you wasting any more time so go right now i'm not even kidding i'm going to sit here and wait for you to click off this video and actually start some maths